Okay, boxers, keep your heads out, keep your punches up, keep it clean. You've had your instructions in the changing rooms, you know what I expect from you. Touch gloves, come out boxing on the bell, let's go. Also alongside us, as you saw in the build-up, Sky Nicholson and, and Sky, we've seen across seven fights in her professional career so far. Steady development for Rihanna Dixon. Yeah, definitely. I, I've definitely seen the improvements uh, over the past year that I've been watching Rihanna, and uh, I, I love her discipline. I, I think she's got a really nice, neat style, and you can tell that she's, she's very disciplined. She's, she's bringing what she's doing in her drills and in her training into the ring. Good work on the front foot by Dixon, but she's unfazed Wilkinson. She's confident. Well, the commitment of Rhiannon Dixon is what has produced those seven wins, all of them on points in her professional career so far. But a lot of that coming down also to the tutelage of Anthony Crawler in the corner there, who is also looking for his first title as a trainer as we move into the second round scheduled for tens. Dixon in this second round gets on the front foot. It's a good positive start from both women. The early stages of this contest. So much on the line, the first Commonwealth title. Just falling short over the front foot wall because you've got to be careful of that. Just charging forward in straight lines as well. Nice job to the body from Dixon. Well, like you said earlier, Darren, this is Vicky's moment. This is, this is her opportunity and her chance. Uh, on the big stage, so she's gonna, it's gonna bring her best performance. Yeah, when you've got nothing to lose, you're the B side. It's uh, sort of nothing, nothing to, to lose situation. You can see that in her approach here. She just has to be careful. She's sort of leading with her hands and not her feet and falling over that front foot. We see how good Dixon's lead uppercut was against her goal, so she has to be careful, Wilkinson. Smart combination landing on the ropes on the far side of the ring from Dixon, drawing applause from Crawler in the corner. <laughs> Errol Johnson in the corner of uh, Wilkinson, really calling on her girl to get forward, close that gap. I think it's sound advice as well when you're the underdog as such. Try and unsettle the younger fighter, try and mess them up, take them out of their rhythm. Because she's a, a good fight, Dixon, when she's allowed to, to do as she pleases. So it's a good effort from Wilkinson. It looks like Wilkinson's best success she's having is when she, she steps through with that right hand. She, she changes stance and she brings that, that right hand through almost as a jab, as a southpaw. Um, that seems to be unsettling Rhiannon and, and they're trying to, I guess, keep following up on that now. I suppose it's partly down to inexperience, but Dixon hasn't quite found the timing of catching Wilkinson on the way in. Wilkinson is coming in at times with those gloves astray or down and is open to a counter. Yeah, exactly right, Mike. She's just taking too much of a step backwards. They're taking, you know, half a step and just walking Wilkinson onto the shot. She's just jumping out of range a bit too far. This guy, I guess, one of the factors that you learn over time is the ability to make the opponent fight your fight. Yeah, 100%. We, um, we see it time and time again. The, the better boxer being dragged into a fight that they don't need to be in. Um, and yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's all about discipline and drills and, and, and learning, I guess, on the job, learning on the job, the experience to, to make sure that you fight your fight and you don't get dragged into that fight that you, that you don't need to be in. Yeah, Rihanna Dixon coming into the pro ranks without that amateur pedigree of Sky Nicholson and so many others. And Sky says learning as she goes through the professional ranks. So a word from the referee to both about their various transgressions as we move into the second half of the contest. Applause from Anthony Crawler there in the corner from that left hand from Dixon. Again, lands that nice left hand, right hook. 
hook combination. Yeah, she's having some success with the body shots here, Dixon. This is a good barrage of punches. And Wilkinson was hurt by that right hook to the body and now goes down. We've still one and a half minutes or so to go in this sixth round. And she is badly hurt here. And on the verge, it would seem, of the first defeat of her professional career. Impressive start to the sixth round for Dixon. How can she build on this now? Shot to the body once again, and Wilkinson grimaces in pain. See body shots, Mike, they're really, really hurting Wilkinson. And again, lovely shot. Down for the second time in the round is Wilkinson. Will she beat the count this time? She's looking desperately pained on the canvas. She does rise, and the referee decides that he's seen enough. And celebrations in the corner. Anthony Crawler and his charge, Rhiannon Dixon. Brilliant display at the beginning of the sixth round. The body shots that she landed sporadically across the first half of the contest really started to tell at the beginning of the sixth round. A very, very impressive finish. And Wilkinson subjected to a punishing attack and suffers the first defeat of her professional career. And Rhiannon Dixon not only wins her first title, but wins for the first time inside the distance in her professional career. Yeah, very impressive finish there. It was uh, an awkward kind of opening to the contest, but the round previous, she caught Wilkinson with a lovely right to the body, and I did feel that was the, the, the kind of right tactics to follow up with, and we see that in the next round. Good barrage of shots, and when she had Wilkinson hurt, she didn't let her off the hook. She continued to let the shots go. We see here, changing the levels with the shots, tapping upstairs, dropping down, raining in from all angles, and it was that left, round the right elbow of Wilkinson that did all the damage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ron Kearney calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and six seconds of round number six. Your winner by TKO, she's still undefeated. And the new Commonwealth lightweight champion, Re